I got um I got some <laughs> <laughs> I got some cards here from uh, Annie and uh and Jennifer. Uh no uh and the idea. Right, stick the light on those three down there.
Emmanuel Oi. On this special day, we ask thee, O Lord, to bless Yvonne and Christopher on their happy journey through life. And similarly, for what we are about to receive, may the Lord make us to be thankful. For his name, Amen. <laughs>
taken away for granted is always a major issue with women. Let us men can understand them, respect them, and love them all. The man I met once at the hotel where I worked explained to me as I served him his main, his main meal that his wife wanted to sit at separate tables. He looked confused and a little upset. But when the taxi drove him to the hilton, his bride turned to the sled. Darling, I don't know what want the photos to guess with newly weds. I want them to think you've been married for years. The groom looked a bit dubious. Are you sure you can manage both of the suitcases yet? <laughs> <laughs> now we should be some of the cards so you <laughs> Not really all of them, as you can see. It's quite a few. Take leave you today with love from grandma and granddad, Leslie. Sorry we can't believe you. This card here is from Joanne, from America, as Chris mentioned. To Yvonne, um, if you can help me, let me know if a true friend remains a friend now and for always. Love, Joanne. This one here from Sydney, Australia. To Yvonne and Christopher, thinking of you. Love, Susan, Aaron, Aaron and Danny. To Chris and Yvonne. Best wishes to your future love together. Doris, here with Guy, Manister, Lampen. Now call upon Mr. Roy Coleman.
Um, family and to friends, wonderful to see you. To people that I haven't yet met, but I've met briefly, but I don't really know very well, we'll get to know each other before the end of the night. And I'm sure we're going to be great friends, okay? Um, but tonight, well, today here now, there are some of my most favourite people in all the world. It is a couple of people that are missing. Um, and it is lovely, it's a very joyous occasion to have you all together on such a fantastic day. And it really is a fantastic day. Um, I'm sure you all agree with me that my gorgeous new daughter-in-law, she is gorgeous. She really does look beautiful and I'm delighted that she now belongs to me. She's very important to me. Um, a little bit of advice to you both, and you'll have lots and lots of advice, but this is, this is the advice you should listen to. You should always listen to mum, you know that. <laughs> Things that you do, do together. Always share them. If it's cleaning, if it's shopping, if it's gardening, if it's decorating. Do them together because it doesn't feel that you are doing a job. When you do it together, you're sharing it and it's lovely. It's a, a job shared, it's a job halved. And it's the same when you've got uh, a problem. A problem shared is a problem halved. And I think that's very, very important that you do those things together. Another very, very important thing. All right? Never go to sleep on a tiff. Always cover the tiff over before you go to sleep that night. If you can do that, you're going to be together as long as mum and dad Ross down there will be together for 70 years. And they should know a thing or two. All right? So never go to sleep on a quarrel. If mum finds out that you do, I've seen him go through all the various stages of childhood and adolescence. 
Um, and I've been wondering, what, well, what can I say about him? I could talk about his, uh, the way he used to break everything he touched. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his tantrums and his, uh, his necessity of using a bib every time he sat down for a meal. <laughs> so I thought, well, let's talk about things that, you know, forget about things he still does. Let's talk about something different. <laughs> Say, well, he's grown up into what I consider to be a very sensible and mature person. He's chosen the bride, who I'm sure I haven't known Yvonne as long as Chris, obviously. Since I've known her, I've known her to be a very lovely, very sensible, and very the right sort of person for Chris, I'm sure. Uh, since Yvonne and Chris got together, Jennifer, Myself, I know everyone who knows them would agree that they have made for each other. And uh, I wish them all the happiness in the future. All I can say is to repeat what was already said is Chris Vaughan, you have every happiness in the future. The wedding of a daughter Yvonne to Chris. I was in the first instance very hesitant as I'm not renowned for my eloquent after dinner speeches. But on that entreaty that I was about the eldest of our family presidents, I could see no way out of it. I must first of all offer my sincere congratulations to Yvonne and Chris and hope they have, have many happy years together, be happy together and enjoy our life to the floor. I would personally like to pass on to both of them the fondest congratulations from Yvonne's granddad and grandma Priestley my father-in-law and mother-in-law. I know they both would have loved to be present at the wedding of their youngest grandchild, but due to the health and incapacity of my father-in-law and the need for my mother-in-law to be ever present with him, they are unable to travel the long distance. I know they are both very happy to, they were both very happy to have Yvonne and Chris stay with them for a couple of days on their visit to Yorkshire. Also, I would like to pass on to them the congratulations of my two sons and their families who can't be present today. I also think that all of us present should congratulate my nephew Roy on the manner in which he has carried out the onerous duties of giving the bride away. These duties fall on most of us in our more mature years and can be very daunting task for a young man. I know this for a fact that it befell me to give my sister away when I was in my late teens. I'm sure both the bride's mother and Chris's parents deserve a heartfelt thanks for all their hard work in making this day a success. I've been introduced to quite a, a few people already, and I hope that my wife and I, and my daughter and her husband, will get to know a lot more of you at this evening's reception. Thank you very much. He's incomplete, but on his wedding day he's finished. <laughs> thank you very much for your attendance to our foreign guests, Nick and Bowery, he did means thank you very much. Uh, would you please take your time in leaving the tables, but they have got to be cleared ready for this evening. Thank you very much for your attention.